you, folks. Our next guest is uh, 23 years old. He comes from Manhattan, where he is a shoe salesman, and he has one of the strangest hobbies ever. Uh, please welcome George Mostoller. George, nice to see you. Now, George here collects food. You've been collecting food for how long? Since 1977. And why did you start collecting food? Well, it was an accident. An accident. Sort of. Explain how that happened. This cheeseburger here. Can we see the cheeseburger? Yes, take Boy, the cheeseburger. is this a piece of work. <laughs> That's... This is from 1977. You've been saving it? Right. What happened was I took the cheeseburger home to, uh, to eat it later. I just sort of put it in my pocket. Right. And I forgot about it for several months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I found it later. And uh, it still looked pretty much the same. So I said, well, that's it still looked much the same. Well, you can see the top bun is taken off here. This one here is uh, about two years older than that from 1979. Yeah. And it's uh, still looks like a cheeseburger. Now, uh, but I understand how this one got away from you. But then what, what did you say to yourself that, boy, this would make a lovely collection <laughs> or, or what? Um, well, the next thing that happened was about a year later, I took this Jello home. This is the Jello. Right. There are some different colored Jello cubes <laughs> to uh, to to eat that later. And uh, what happened was, I think I had to go out with some friends or something, so I didn't have time to eat it right then. So I said, "Well, I know what I'll do. I'll put it under the staircase and see if the janitor finds it." Mm -hmm. And I went back about three or four months later, and it was still there. And uh, you can see, well, it crystallized so nicely. I said, well, I've got to see what other different kinds of foods do. This is unbelievable. This is, of course, like the first Thanksgiving. That's what I'm in the mind of here. <laughs> uh, but you know what, what strikes me right off the top, and, and, and then we'll look at each of these individual uh, kinds of food, they don't uh, decompose. Shouldn't, shouldn't food just rot and go away? You don't refrigerate it, do you? I don't refrigerate it. Where do you, where do you keep it? In my bedroom. <laughs> uh, well, have you ever had a date? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, you keep it in the bedroom. Does it smell in there? Um, no, not really. I mean, does it smell out here? No, honestly, it doesn't, doesn't smell too badly out here. Okay, let's go around it and, and show us the different stuff. But I, I can't get over the fact that it hasn't just turned to dust. I wonder about that myself. Is that the preservative? <laughs> is, is that the preservatives in this food? I, I suppose so, but for instance, this is just a baked potato, which is broken apart because someone dropped a shoe on it. But, uh... It, uh, it, I mean, it's there. It looked like a baked potato before mm -hmm. it broke. But... Now, do you, do you collect all of these yourself, or <laughs> friends give them to you, or what? Um, sometimes, for certain things friends have given to me, okay. like these, these eggs here were given to me by a... How the, old are the eggs? The eggs are about four years old. What happened? What hap that's amazing. Why doesn't that just decompose and go to, all away? What happened with the eggs is the guy was hard boiling them. And he, he, let the, he went out of the kitchen, the water all boiled away, yeah. and he came down and said they exploded. And he wanted to give them to give me as a gift. Right. So, now, <laughs> now what, what is this, George? That's a graham cracker crumb covered chocolate pudding. <laughs> and, and how old is that? That's from 1979. Uh-huh. And That's... you keep all of these on the plates they're in now? Yeah, pretty much. All right, what is this, George? That is a whipped jello. I have two whipped jellos. That one's... The, the other one is this one here, which is this green one. Mm -hmm. They react differently. Now, why would be the, what's the difference in the reaction? I what, don't what know. What would the whipping do? I guess it puts more air into it. And what about this deal over here? This is, ooh, oh, I'm sorry. that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to damage any of this stuff. I, I'm guessing it's priceless. Yeah. I what is that? Are these, uh, were these hash brown potatoes? No, this is a sliced fried plantain, which I... <laughs> well, I wouldn't know what that looks like fresh. There's, there's a whole... There's a whole plantain there, but it's not fresh. It's a, it's a it's form of banana, banana, right? Yeah, it's a kind of banana. Okay, and this is a, uh, a pineapple, That's obviously. A pineapple. Someone How long have you had the pineapple? That's from January of this year. That's very strange, isn't it? Do you, do you, do you think that at some point um, toward the end of the, the century, this will all just be dust and blow away, or is this it? Oh, Lord, what is this? Well, now which in, one? Here? In here with the burger. Ooh, that thing. This, this is an oven. This came from the bottom of an Ooh. oven. I don't know quite what it is. That reminds me. <laughs> Gee, many. You, you, it's just, you, you. We got to change the cat box, Paul. I just reminded <laughs> of something. We, uh, and of course, here we have a. a this That's is a, a burned a, toasted bagel. Toasted I bagel. Say. How old is that? That's about 
four years old. Is, is there a, a piece of food that you'd like to add to the collection but haven't been able to yet? Um, well, no. Well, no, we'll think no. about it. There George, this things. is mighty strange. Very strange, sir. Thank you for bringing it in, though. We really enjoyed looking at your food. Thank you. We'll be right back. So this hamburger meat is seven years old. Good Lord, now that's not right. Uh, we have to go, folks. I'm awfully sorry we ran out of time. Bill Hicks, uh, the comedian, will be with us as soon as we can reschedule him. Have a good weekend, folks. Thank you very much.